Yeah, it is another beautiful day as I welcome you to Menalize TV. And this time around, we are going to solve the basic question that they wrote uh, this month that the basic education certificate examination that the students of Ghana wrote. So we are going to start from question number two. I see that one as the most easiest one for us to solve. So we solve the question number two. So we have the question number two A. Given that, given the vector P, which is M plus 3, 2 minus N, and then Q, which is 3M minus 1, and then N minus 8, and P is equal to Q, find the values of M and N. So when you look at this, these two vectors are about equal vectors. Since they say P is equal to Q, that means the two vectors are about equal. So let's see how we can solve them. So from the question, they say the P is equal to Q. So we are going to represent P and Q with what? Their values. So from there, the P is M plus 3, then 2 minus N, which is equal to, then we have the Q, which is 3M. So you have the first one, M plus 3, 2 minus N, they have 3M minus 1, then N minus what? 8. Since the two vectors are equal, it means the corresponding component of the x-axis will be the same as the ones that we have here. So from there we can say that M plus 3 So the M plus 3 is equal to 3M minus 1. So that's the first one. So from there, you can put the like terms together and solve. So what we do is, we send this M to where the 3x and then this one group like terms together. So we let the 1 come here and then the M will go there. So we have the 3, here the 1 here is what? It's neg uh, negative. Where it comes, it becomes a positive. So plus 1, which is equal to, then we have the 3M there. Good. Then this M is going there, it's positive, so you get that because of negative, so minus N. So from there, what we have is 4 is equal to 2M. 4 is equal to 2M. We are looking for M, not 2M. So you have both sides by 2. So 2 go here 1 and going to 4 2 times. So therefore, our M is equal to 2 that we have there. So we have to group the light terms together to find the value of what n. So from there I can say 2, the 8 here will come to where we have the 2 and the 8 is negative so it becomes a positive. So plus 8 which is equal to then this one we have the n will go to where the n is. So the n plus another n so we have it there. So from there we can say that 2 plus 8 will give us 10 which is the same as 2n. So since you are looking for n, then we have to divide both sides by 2. So by 2, so 2 going to self 1, and going to 10, 5 times. So therefore, our n is equal to 5. So we come to question number 2b. A man shared an amount of money between his children, Baba and William, in the ratio 6 is to 5. Baba received 1,200 cities. Find the total amount shared. So we saw this one before we continue to B, I. So the first question is, find the total amount shared. So the amount that was shared, Baba received 1,200 cities of the amount that was shared. So when we look at this, Baba is to William, is the same as 6 is to 5. That is the ratios that we have. So first, we find the total total ratio, which is the 6 plus the 5. 6 plus 5, that will give us 11. So the total ratio is what? 11. So out of this 11, Baba received for 6 out of the 11 that was given. And that 6 out of 11 is giving us 1,200. So how much was shared? So we can say that 11 is to X. That's the amount that they shared, but we don't know the amount that they shared. Then Baba, which is 6, had an amount of 
1,200 cities. That's what, that's what Baba had. So the sixth part is given as 1,200. Then, 11 part, you don't know what is it. So what you have to do is, so this is the same as 11 over x, which is the same as 6 over 1,200. So the XL is represent what? The total amount that was shared. So we are using the X to represent the total amount that was shared. So here you can cross multiply. So you have the 6X, which is equal to 11 times 1,200 series. So what you have to do is so divide both sides by 6. So this divided by 6. This also divided by 6. So you have our X, which is equal to. So 6 will go into cell 1. I'm going to 12, 2 times. So from here, the 6 going to 12, 2 times. So the 2 times 11 is giving us 2,200. That means our x is equal to GAC 2,200 series. So this 2,200 series is the total amount that was shared. And then Baba received for 1,002 out of it. Therefore, the total amount shared is 2,200. So, William invested his share in an account at a rate of 20% simple interest per annum for two years. Find the total amount in his account at the end of the two years. So, after, so William's share is the same as what? The total amount that was shared minus the one that Baba receives. So, the total amount that was shared was 2,200 and Baba received what? 1,200. So definitely, William is left with what? 1,000 cities. So the 1,000 cities is the William share. So now that William has invested this in an account for two years at the simple interest, so we are going to find the simple interest and then the total amount that William will have at the end of the two years. So now we have the simple interest, which is the same as the principal times time times rate all over 100. So the simple interest is given as what? The principal times time times rate all over 100. So the principal is 1000 cities, the time is 2 years, and the rate is 20%. So we say the simple interest is equal to principal times time times rate all over 100. So in place of principal, we put 1,000 there, then the time is 2 years, and then the rate is what? 20%. So that's the reason why you have the 100 here, 20%, 20 over 100. So here, the 0, 1, 2, we cancel these two zeros as well. So what we have is 2 times 2 will give me 4, or 20 times 2 will give me, give me what? 40. Then 40 times 10 will give me what? 400. So that means... The interest, the interest that Baba will get at the end of two years is 400 cities. So the 400 cities is the interest. So now you are now going to find the total amount that William will get at the end of the two years. So the amount that William will get is the principal plus the interest. So we are able to find the amount that William invested. So the amount that William invested is 1,000 cities. So investing 1,000, he now had a, an interest of 400 cities on it. So plus 1,000. So the principal, the interest plus the principal is giving us what? The amount. So he had thousand cities and invest it for two years, getting a profit of what? 400 cities. So the total amount that William will get at the end of the two years is 1,400 cities. So thank you so much for watching today's episode. Remember to subscribe to this channel, Menalize TV, for more updates.